so many of you here to, today. Uh, Before 2012 we didn't have a food bank in Oldham, we never had a food bank. Uh, and Andrew's told me it's very good and supplies me with the regular figures, but it's gone from a few hundred people that were, were accessing the food bank in 2012 to 5,000, including 1,500 children last year. <coughs> now that's, that's an awful lot for, for a town like, like Oldham. You know, again, Oldham has, has got the highest level of sanction rate in all of the northwest, and the northwest again uh, is the highest in, in, in the country. So it, it's not good for, for Oldham. Well, I said he wanted to, to come to Oldham. I said, yeah, I must take you to the food bank because it's absolutely fantastic. And they're doing such great work. Uh, so it's an absolute privilege to, uh, to have Tom here today. Um, and I know he's open to questions and answers, but uh, can I hand over to Tom now? Thank you, Debbie. Look, it's great to be with to be. We, we are in a room where government failure meets common humanity. And if, if you want to know about the challenges we face in the next 61 days and what the opportunities are for a socially progressive government that the believes the role of the state is to give back people dignity and that give them equality and opportunity, it's in this room today. It is a great honour to be here with Debbie in particular, though, because I knew she was a very good candidate in the by-election. You don't get many candidates who go canvassing in three-foot snow boots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 that's not changed. But, but, no, that's not changed, I can tell. But I knew she'd be a, a very good advocate for local people and taking up those cases when the benefit system that is stacked against them, being a powerful advocate is one of the roles of being a member of parliament. But she's also identified the issue and made it hers in Westminster. And that's what a really good MP should do, to be able to be in the weave of their community, but put, identify the issues that a government can address at scale. And one of the things we can address at scale very early on in a Labour administration is this sanction. You've got a great MP. You've got a really decent uh, group of people ready to campaign in the next 61 days and I hope you can put the message that Labour are going to change the sanctions regime when you're out on the doorsteps. It's so important and I want to back in government to be a very powerful <coughs> minister changing this country for the better and that's something worth fighting for isn't it? So it's good to be with you. Have a good afternoon. <laughs> 